when you Danny Harbour to hang out with a few friends from across the country and talk about sci-fi. Hey, you must be hanging with the Mythwits. The show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity and coated with sarcasm and burned the fuck out. Every week we bring you news and interviews from the Geekiverse. We do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees, especially not tonight. Christ, no. my funny bone is all fucking beat up. All right, so I'm your host, Peter Bryant. And joining me this week is only Mike Kafis. Hey, Peter. I see what you did there. I see what you did there talking about Dan Dan Air at the uh, Inner Harbor. Yeah, that's right. And Jack Ballard. Good evening. Yeah, everybody. We went to Balticon this weekend, uh, and we did a lot. Oh, my God. We did a lot of shit. Um, We did a a live live show every night. uh, Full on. Balls against the wall, and a different thing every night too. Not just we didn't just phone that shit in. This was this was the the shit. If you missed it, hey Mike, if you missed it, you, you missed it. Missed it. If you weren't there, you missed it. <laughs> right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's so, how it goes. Yeah. So we we had a good time. We had a good time, but man, goddamn, it was it was whew, a lot of work. And I'm, I'm yeah. Man, I was down there all day, like basically. Me and Mike all, all day er day. Uh, yeah, and and Jack joined us a lot. And Jack was a fucking trooper on Sunday. Holy right. shit, my man. I'm giving I you props for that. All the way to the other side of Maryland and ate crabs and then drove all the way back and then basically came in the house, had a bowel movement and walked out of the house and uh oh, and grabbed the hoodie. And then hmm. boom, I was in I was in a lift on the way back to the hotel. And so that I want to say too, uh, thank you to Lyft. Good God, that was super easy and super cheap. It was so it was six dollars from my house to the uh, hotel. Yeah, I hear uh, uh, Gil from the awesome. Simpsons. I hear Gil from the Simpsons was your driver. Yeah, my driver one night was. I think he was drunk. I didn't smell anything, but this guy was like, and he's like, the um, <clears throat> GPS would say real loud through the car speakers, "Turn left." And the guy would look at me and go, should I turn left? I'd be like, fuck yeah, dude. What do you, <laughs> you think I'm going to argue with the GPS? Like he was, and he would look just like Gil from, uh, from the Simpsons. Like, old oh, Gil needs this one. You know, the old computer uh, salesman. Oh, um, Gil, God, can't mess this up. I can't afford to sleep in my car again tonight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly who he was. So other than that, it was awesome. Um, that's the only way to fly. Yeah. Nice. All right, yeah, cause I, you know, I've used Uber. I think I think I've used Uber one one time, uh, and I've never used Lyft. But sounds like uh, sounds like it's the way to go if you uh, if you only got a little ways to go. Yeah, it was cool, but yeah, I had a great time. It was my first con, so uh, it was a uh, you know dipping my beak into new waters. Yeah, we popped his con cherry. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time. Got yeah, all and- over me. <laughs> and like we, you know, like we've said before, you know, Balticon is is a small-ish con. I mean, it's uh, maybe a few thousand people. It's hard to tell because they're all spread out all over the hotel. You never really get all those, you know, those nerds in one place. Um, <laughs> those nerds, right? <laughs> uh, us nerds, really. But you know, you don't get them all in one place, so uh, it's it's hard to tell. But I think it's a few thousand. But at any rate, it's uh. So for if anybody's watching this show and you're wondering what the fuck is Balticon, you know what what's the deal? Because people say, okay, it's a con, and if they're geeks, they know that they know what a con is. Um, and if you don't know what a con is, you're probably watching the wrong fucking show. Um, but but a, a Balticon is a sci-fi con, so it's. Um, you know, not, not a whole lot with like movie stars and TV stars and shit like that. It's mostly about science fiction, really like stories, like, like authors and stuff like that for, for the most part. And scientists come in, um, they don't really do much with comics at all. And gaming is very small portion of Balticon, uh, which is weird because my understanding is it started out as a gaming con, as a sort of a, a sci-fi gaming con. Uh, and gaming was huge there. Well, <laughs> it was a smaller con then, so I guess it's all relative, right? Uh, maybe it hasn't grown at all. Maybe it's just stayed the same, right? And everything else has grown around it. Well, oh, as uh, some of the many people that we talked to that we will mention, uh, Ken was saying that, uh, you know, last year, and we'll get more into this, but last year that was a difficult uh, growing pain year for them, switching hotels. And... Uh, you know, it, as a result of that, I think this year he said that they uh, probably lost a, you know, a lot of uh, attendees uh, compared to past years, just when they were in Hunt Valley, which is a, a different place out 
uh, away from the city. So uh, as we will get into and talk about how seamless and how much more um, uh, easy it was to check in and to do all the, you know, be where we needed to be uh, for the most part, uh, it it's going to take a little time for them to uh, get that trust back and get the numbers they had back. So, right. Yeah, I think so. But I mean, you know, word's going to travel because people will talk about it. I mean, the, the people yeah. that came know the other people. I mean, it's it's just, it's just like small to more. It's like small to con, you know? That's true. <laughs> yeah. So people are, yeah. people know people and they'll all say, Hey, yeah, dude, you know, remember last year it sucked, but man, this year, fuck, it was great. Cause I'm, you know, I'll go on record. I'm, I'm going to stick it right there. Fuck. Yeah. They had their shit together. They were as together as any con I've ever been to. So that was nice. Mm-hmm. It was really nice. I mean, I was like, and I knew last year was going to be rough. And I, I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be a little easy on him because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole new venue. Um, I, don't, uh, I don't think we were that easy on him. But, no, no, no. Before I got there. <laughs> but then I got there. Oh, and, that, oh, okay. and the shit show that it was, like, Jesus fucking Christ, really? Like, could you fuck this up anymore? Like, the only way this yeah. could be fucked up anymore is if I showed up and it wasn't fucking here. I mean, I was, <laughs> I'm dropping a lot of F-bombs, but God damn, I was pissed. Because right. we, we waited in one line, then we got sent to another line, and then back to that fucking line, and then around the corner to someone else, yeah. only to have to go over and stand and wait in this fucking the special help line. And I was just like... Which was uh, the longest line. Right. And I was just like, oh, I just want to fucking kill somebody right now. Um, hey, but this time, we, dude... If, yeah. If it was at the wrong hotel and we were there wrong, that would have been one disappointment. That would have been one big disappointment instead yeah. of death by a thousand disappointments. Right, yeah. and then and then people didn't know that, that panels were going on and panels right. were in different places. I mean, it was a At, fucking shit show. Okay, okay. So if you want to hear all about Balticon 50, then yeah. go back and listen to our show about Balticon 50 and listen yeah, to our yeah, big yeah. shit show explanation yeah, because we don't want anyone to get confused. Right. This year, Balticon 51 was – unbelievably amazing and it was yeah. different it was amazing for us it was an amazing experience but them the way you know the organization of it was very well put together as well when uh pete got there earlier in the day and i got there after work and pete was like yep go up to the fourth you know fifth floor yep go to this desk and i'm like i'm, I'm texting him as i'm walking past the desk and i'm like y- organization huh like first of all that the word was there like <laughs> you thought it was an oxymoron and there was no line and i'm like um my friend told me to come here is this where i check in oh yes sir what's your name mike kafis of the mythwits oh it got you right here mythwit mike here you go now take this and go over to that other place that there's no line they didn't say that but it was like you know go over to that place and just give them that card and i give them the card they give me a badge within like a minute and that was it and I, like the stickers were already printed out. All they had to do was peel it off, put it onto the badge, and it was done. I, I, I texted Pete, and I was like, I think I'm in the wrong con. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm done. I got my badge, but I don't think I'm at Balticon. <laughs> yeah, I forget what I was doing. I was doing something else, but it wasn't something that took a lot of time, right? And I was just trying to wrap it up, and I was going to go meet up with Mike. And I didn't have time to wrap it up and go meet up with him. That's, I mean, it was great. And then Jack, Jack came in. Same thing, same deal. Yeah. Send him a text. Go here. They'll take care of you, mm-hmm. right? Yep. And he did. And it was did. lickety split. I went through, yep. got the plus one for my girlfriend, and uh, yeah, we and had it, our badges in about five minutes, and uh, we were good to go. And that wasn't an issue either. The plus one, yeah. like you would think that yeah. that that could get jammed up, but that nice didn't job. get jammed up. Wow, that was yeah. really cool. Yep. No, and and I know we're saying we're we're setting the bar really low because we're saying you know well yeah of course when you go to a con it should be that good right but it's not usually it's not most cons are they have it takes a little while to get through the badge like total con not so much total con's really good um mm-hmm. but they've had the same crew running it in the same location forever so it's i mean they they've got their shit wired tight mm-hmm. uh dragon con could be dragon con's had its issues you know yeah but for a 60 70 thousand person con it's <laughs> never that bad every time we go there if we get there in no, the, a little, one, little bit later in the morning and it, and it's like the, we just like the go one time our lines one time we went right, there you know what you know what? You and that one time. You know, that one forget time, the right? ten that's other how, times, right? That's, that's how forget I the am. ten other times. But one time. That one time. Ooh, right, yeah. Right, no, no, that was good. It was good. Right, hey, you have to step on everything, don't you? Enough you of this. Step on everything. Hey, hey. 
So <laughs> All we right, got there. Too. Come on. We got there. No, we got it's, this. This is part of the gag. We got there, and uh, it was oh my god, fuck! It was really cool. We had we met with everybody. Um, you know, we hung out with uh, with the, with the usual crew. And if you don't know who that is, uh, that's like Paul Cooley, Scott Pond, um, Bruce Press. Uh, ben Press showed up, but he was like kind of there a little later. We didn't get to hang out with Alley Press. Uh, Julie was there, so the yeah. presses. Presses were mostly represented, but we always, I'm just saying them because we always hang out with them. You know who wasn't there? Brian Gregory wasn't there. Yeah, Brian Gregory wasn't there. Why do you keep talking about who wasn't? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just saying it just because it just occurred to yeah, me. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm like, know. oh, fuck, just, Brian wasn't there. Right. Anyway, uh, Laura Nicole, Sol- Laura uh, Nicole, Laura Nicole Sim- Spencer? <laughs> Not Simpson Spencer. Right. Spencer. What is it? Right. Yeah. Laura Nicole Spencer. Laura, yeah. Hi, Laura Nicole. Sorry. Yeah. Um, okay. Shay was there. Let's see. Yeah, our buddy Shay, who's always there. Laura, Nicole, and Shay competed in one of our games, which we'll get yes. into. Um, um, and then, uh, who else did we see? Jack, who who was there that you uh, you know? I was bombarded on? so much by people and names. Um, I, the guy with the curly mustache that participated in our reading. What was oh, his name again? Dave. Dave Robinson. Dave yeah, Robinson. he was. He uh, is one of my favorite people. I love the sound of his voice. I could hear that guy. I, he could read like a, a like. Uh, Ikea instructions and it would just sound fucking awesome. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Dude, that's why I, that's, that's why I recruited him for that reading. I, I yeah, actually saw I him out. Why immediately. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I was like oh, can I get you one here? And he's like, yeah, I'd love to do it. I was like, oh, sweet. Because his voice is like 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 butter, right, Mike? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is definitely big pipe, a big piping hot plate of butter. <laughs> um, <laughs> you had uh, already left, Jack, I believe, but... Um, uh, Pete and I stayed for it was on uh, Saturday night. The Insomniac yeah. Theater did a reading. You didn't stay for that, right? No, I didn't. No. Okay, all right. Well, your buddy uh, was there again reading. Who's my buddy? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Dave. John Dave Robinson. Dave. Oh, Dave. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And, and and he did again. He he was uh he kind of played uh, what was he the in- announcer he's the narrator yeah yeah the narrator and uh, he did an amazing job again. He's just yeah. he's so. Um, out, you know, he just puts himself, you know, yeah, punches you in the face with his uh, uh, surly voice. <laughs> yes, and let's see who else. Um, well, I still I didn't get a you- chance to find the name of the guy I sat next to at dinner, but I will. Sorry, I, do. I got it. You. I got it. I sent it to you, Charlie oh. Brown. Ch- uh, oh, uh, okay. See, the text you sent me when we were kind of making fun of some. See, Pete and I text back and forth when we're in certain panels. And I'm like, hey, I didn't know Jesus was allowed in the in here and all. And oh. he's like, no, that's Charlie Brown. And that, that was the text I got right after that. I was like, oh, oh he must okay. maybe do or you were making fun of somebody. I don't, anyway, um, <laughs> we don't make okay. fun of people. What are you talking about? Oh, we so make fun of people. Come on. Everyone who, when you're alone with your best friend, you make fun of people. I don't care who not, you are. And not if you're, the not, fine folks. you're not anyone we want to hang out with. What? What? Not the, not the fine folks at Balticon. We would oh, never, yeah. Well, we never. But then we're not fine people. folks at Balticon because you, me, and Jack, we will <laughs> we will rib somebody. Right. We will talk shit about any motherfucker. I don't care. You know. You're Brad Pitt. Dong, fucking weird looking dong, motherfucker. <laughs> dong, 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 oh, that dong. guy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, who there else? Oh, uh, some characters. Definitely. Yes. yes. Let's see. Uh, 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 Scott Roach. Yeah. I was going to say, buddy. he was good at that Insomniacs reading. I was like, yes. when he was doing his thing, I was like, fuck, I should add him. Come on. He was yeah. great. Yes. And uh, he <laughs> he really can channel, as he said, he can channel a tortured soul. He has yeah. a teenage daughter. So right. um, yeah. let's see. Who else of our friends do we um i, I just there were so many new people we met and i can't even think of all their names right now but uh it was such a great time and like some of them were people that we've met before but we haven't really hung not really mm-hmm. hung out with or personalized with you know it's like hey whatever, and you don't really know them but then you kind of get to know them more and you're like oh, yeah. okay and, and then you're kind of like yeah we actually now we've actually met you know yeah and i think part of that was due to the fact that a lot of the other i would say bigger fish for Balticon being a medium-sized pond, but the bigger fish weren't there. I mean, we're talking about our Scott Siglers, our um, Pamela yeah, Gay. even our you know Pamela Gay, T. Morris, just a lot of the, those people who we try and um, attract to, who are you know um, 
also would be socializing with them. And so we kind of, I don't know, you know, it's that weird thing where it's like, no, I'm here for you. And oh, hi there, you on the side. But so we were all sort of more equals. There was, there wasn't anyone about, I would, I, I'm not going to, you know, among the crowd that we hang out with, I would say Paul, who is Paul Cooley, who is so like, doesn't even want to be considered. And I don't, I, it's hard to consider him as, you know, someone who is such a, you know, on such a high stratosphere. He is, he is becoming more and more successful. And I would say that he is a bigger fish at total, at, um, at Balticon, but you know, it's just, hello. Oh, it's just so, uh, you froze for a minute. <laughs> it's just so, um, it was so more like uh, we just I just felt like one level with a lot more people. And maybe that's because partially we leveled up a little and other people, well, they didn't down. They didn't level down. But I don't know. Maybe it's just us. I think it's just you. Oh, you may <laughs> be overthinking things, but yeah. I, I I did get a good vibe from a lot of people. I've, I've been, been accused of that. Up, I'm glad you leveled up. Right. <laughs> I've been I'm, I, have, I have a plus. One. Definitely. Never you mind. Should take a charisma perk. Definitely. Yeah. Right, you should, right, absolutely. No, you know what it is, Jack. He he's he he's imagining that he's flying higher because he's spinning that fucking thing, right? And it's is like he a really? helicopter. It's like a helicopter blade, and he's like, it's raising him up in the air, right? Oh my god! His his yeah. Er, he knows er what I'm talking. You know what I'm talking. You know, little my fucking spinner. spinner. My fidget spinner. <laughs> you know what, dude? You had that on the table the other, last night, and you were spinning it. And it was like out of the corner of my eye, and I'm trying to talk, and the things on the table spinning around. I don't want to kick it right off the fucking table because it was distracting me. First, first of all, I didn't do that. The other guy did that. The other guy sitting next to me did that. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whose spinner was? Yeah, I'm looking at you, Baldy. <laughs> you. <laughs> all right. Anyway, stop it. Stop it. Listen. So, so we, um, so we had three live shows, um, and the first night we did we did a reading, and uh, it was a reading of a short story that I that I've done. Uh, and, and, you know, I kind of scripted it out and, uh, you know, we had some problems with it cause I don't have an editor and writers, writers make terrible editors, but it was okay. Uh, but, but we were, we did a, a pre-read for it with the group and, uh, it just went fucking South. Like everybody just started going off script and being funny and, and which was cool. It went it South in, in that all of a sudden it came alive and it was funny. And so, right. and so I mean, if that's headed South, I mean, you make it sound negative. No, no, no. I, I, I'm trying not to make it sound negative. No, no. It didn't go south. All right. So I had this intention of it being a serious reading and getting a record, like like an actual serious, like audio book, like recording of it. Right. Uh -huh. So that's what I mean by we're going south. But but it wasn't. It, it just <laughs> it just went it just went 90 degrees. No, which, no. It went South Park. Right. It went it South went Park. South sure. Park. OK, yeah. fine. So it was my favorite one of, of the three. I think that was the funniest one. I mean, when I left there, my sides were hurting. That was, did, I, I think that was one of the funniest shows we've ever done, period. Yeah, that was great. No, it was. It was great. No, and like, so there I was. So imagine I, I have this I have this vision in my head of what we're going to do. And I'm like, I'm like all excited. Ooh, going to read my story. My story. Ooh, look at me. Right. And, uh, and, and, and the shit starts, everybody starts going off script and being funny and stuff. And I'm, and we got, you know, we got about halfway through the reading. I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. This is great. You know, this is funny. This is, this will be good. This will be good. We'll just let it roll. Do what you want to do. It's you know, you embraced it. Yeah, I did. It was, it was great. No, yeah. no, I, I can recognize when things are okay. Um, and <laughs> so, so Mike, Mike fucking, fucking Mike. Although it would have been really funny if you were super pissed about it while we were doing it funny and just right. watching you like, like lose Melt your down. mind over in the corner. Right. But, yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, Come on, good. Come on, good. Be serious. It's my story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kind of like me melting down when I'm trying to have a serious discussion about the soul and yeah. everyone keeps making fun of me. Kind of yeah, like that. Was, that? That was fucking awesome. Jack. You all right, Jack? Where are you, Jack? Boy, you you got it out for me tonight. Yeah, are, he you does. Mad? are you are you mad at he is. what happened? I think is he it? is. So <laughs> so anyway, so like some of the shit that went south on right. So imagine the setting of it is these people hiding out uh from this zombie like horde that has attacked this medieval town. But they're hiding out in a meat cellar. So all of a sudden, everybody is like, ooh, a big, they're hiding behind a big slab of meat and smoking sausages and, you know, putting the sausage in your mouth. So it was that kind of shit. Some uh, of that was, stuff was written right on the page, though. I, we were I know. Right off the page. But there it, was but it, sausage it, slurping. And there, right. was, uh, <laughs> there was some serious, there was some serious ass grabbing and stuff. And we were just reading it right off the page. 
<laughs> I know, but inflection is everything, my friend. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Mike, Mike decides. So Mike, Mike is supposed to do like a Scottish like accent of this one character. Mike, Mike had worked on it for days. Yep. He read it over. He he watched videos on how to do a Scottish accent, which that wasn't. Um, <laughs> and and but he felt okay. You know, he he felt okay until we were at uh, rehearsal and the French, the two French people, the professional voiceover people were doing French accents. And when it came time for Marlon, I'm like, oh, so we are so cool. what? <laughs> right. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to do. It. Oh, and then when Paul started doing and nobody knew this, when Paul's line came, he just yeah. said, well, I'm going to do this here uh, Southern accent. Right. And I'm like, well, fuck, if he's going to do a Southern accent, I might as well do a Baltimore accent because I can't screw that up. Right. So, yeah, so it was it was funny. So Mike is throwing it. We're going to go out there and kill them zombies now, you know, and, and oh, it's just it was fucking funny. It was really funny. So, um, so Mike, you have changed something in the story. Actually, you've changed something in my world by doing that. Uh oh. Uh huh. Yeah, you have. Because I, I was thinking about it today, and I was like, you know what? This is my hometown here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so Baltimore is 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 why I, I love my city. So uh, for all its fucking warts, you know, warts and all, um, that area that that guy comes from, you know, I called it Nogsor and all this shit, right? I've, it's changed. It's no longer that. It's not Nogsor anymore. It is. It is. Dundalk. No, it's it's Balmer. It's Balmer. Balmer oh, County. Ah, nice. Right. Yeah. So from now on, in my story, in my world, uh, there is the, the 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 southern tip of this this one nation that's kind of like the ass end of this nation, sort of like the trailer park of this nation, right? Is is going to be Balmer. It's so fitting. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Nice. Well, you're welcome so, for that. So if somebody asks, you know, in the story, in one of my, if I'm writing one of my stories and they ask a character from that region, like, he's like, I'm from, I'm from Baltimore County. <laughs> It'd be fucking awesome. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so that, that was really good. That was, that was fantastic. And then we played, uh, what did we play? We played, uh, bet the geek, right? Yep. Yeah. With our, uh, our gracious host, uh, Paul Cooley, was uh, willing to be our geek, and I think he did a great job. I always, I think it's it's the perfect mix when the geek doesn't get everything wrong or doesn't or gets everything right. Because if they get yeah. everything right, you didn't feel like you didn't ask tough questions, and if you get everything wrong, you just feel like a douche, yeah. you know. Yeah. And he got some questions right, he got some questions wrong. You guys uh, were all, you know, over the place. I I think it was perfect. Yeah, it was good. It was good. And Paul was a good sport because he didn't know it was yeah. coming. I said, like, we're going to play Bet the Geek tonight, and our geek is Paul Cooley. And he's like, oh, God. <laughs> um, I just want to throw out real quick. I want to throw out a, 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 I bought – so I bought this device, right, this thing here, this H6, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, it comes with uh, this – I bought a piece to click onto it so I could record six microphones, each on their own tracks. Goddamn thing wow. was awesome. So – if you're on the fence, you other podcasters are watching this or whatever, or you're a tech guy and you want to record something on multiple tracks and you're on the fence about this H6, man, fuck, just buy it. Buy the fucking thing. It's worth every penny. Fuck, it works great. It's solid. It's fucking easy to use. Um, I, I don't know. This portion of the show brought to you by Zoom, right. makers of fine recording equipment. Yeah. And well, now well, back to our show. We already had another sponsorship. What was it? What were you fucking pimping earlier? I don't know. We've pimped everything. What's the spinner you use? You can uh, anyway. So, uh, so we did that. Yeah, and Lyft. Oh, it was Lyft, right? So this this episode brought to you by Zoom and by Lyft, and by generic spinner that Mike bought. Um, but then, so so that was fucking awesome. And then the next night, so uh, Saturday night, we did uh, what we did. Uh, what did we do? The author roundtable. Yeah, author roundtable. Fuck, I, my brain went. Um, yeah, I told you I'm burned out. So we did the author roundtable, yeah. and that oh, that could have been such a fucked up thing because I like had invited three authors, and then someone else contacted me and said, "Hey, can I come on and be an author?" And I'm just like, mm, "All right, I could I could squeeze in one more." It's the guy, the guy David, who who uh, hooked us up with the room and everything. And I was like, "Well, he's an author, and he did, you know, he did. He was a fucking G man. He hooked us up with the room." So I'm like, "Yeah, all right, we can make it. We can we can squeeze that in." And so my friend John. Um, had uh, John Monahan, I had told him he's one of our he's one of my gaming buddies. So he's one of the guys I game with every week. Right. 
I told him at some point during gaming, hey, yeah, you know what, you get your, uh, you're an author. If you why don't you come out and, uh, and and join us at the table? Well, motherfucker never like emailed me or anything or touch base with me. Or he just shows up, and I was like, "Well, I'm ready for my spot." <laughs> I know, right, right. And and you know what? And, and in all fairness, I didn't tell him to you know to do that. It just Which guy slipped. was this? John, the guy on the very end, the guy who had to leave. For the, the guy game. with the, uh, the literary horseshoe up his ass. Yeah, right, right. Oh yes, 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 yes. yeah, Mr. Lucky. Yeah. So. You know, I was just kind of like, oh, that's another one. So we got five authors. Uh, so we made it work, but it was it was it was a little yeah. guest heavy, but it was cool. It was fine. Hey, yeah, when we were at dinner, uh, they were talking about uh, what an author is, right? Like, oh, well, authors are this and authors are that. And you have to be so empathic to be an author, but you also have to be really pushy and you have to know what you know, what the character and know what everyone else wants to do and has to do and, and, you know, know their motivation. And I said, so you would say that, uh, the definition of author would be, uh, an empathetic, um, oh God, what is the, the term for the person who loves themselves? Um, narcissist. Yes, an empathetic narcissist, and everyone was like, "Oh yeah, that that that's an author." Yeah, yeah, that's an author. <laughs> right, right, and they posted that today. Somebody, the guy, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I, saw Cooley, I think Cooley posted it today. Oh really? Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he didn't oh. give you credit though. He didn't give you any Mother credit. Fucker. Though. Thanks, Cooley. <laughs> Thanks, Cooley. Thanks, buddy. Good buddy. Good buddy. <laughs> um. Yeah, so uh, so we did the author roundtable, and that was cool. You know, they had a good time, a lot, a lot of laughs, and we we played. Um, that's when we played match wits. And we played that with Shay and um, Nicole, and that was uh, that was a bit dirty. That one got really dirty. Yeah, uh, there was an older couple in the crowd that looked really uncomfortable while we were playing that. So I made sure to put extra dick jokes in. Oh, but, uh, but, but wait, do you know what they did? The first thing they did when the, the whole show ended, where did they go? Uh, I don't know where. They went straight for Violet Lavoie. 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 Oh, sorry, Jesus. Violet Lavoie. And talked to her and said how much they, they're looking forward to reading her books. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they want to read they Genghis. They, they want to read, right, Genghis, read Kong. Genghis Kong. And yeah. I'll fuck yeah. anybody that moves and Stephen Hawking. Yeah. Which are the yep. best book titles ever, really. Like, right, yeah, yeah, they are really good. Yeah. yeah. So it was it was, that was good. Um and then so the uh, and I forgot to mention the first show didn't start until eleven o'clock. So we didn't finish up until twelve thirty and we were fucking wasted. And then the next night all of our shows were late. Um and then Sunday night Jack Jack had to do all that traveling and shit and he still fucking yeah. came in, which was awesome. That's right. Um that that was a that was like fucking that was hardcore. Um and he, he shows up and we did uh, we did our discussion on uh, deconstructing the soul and why it probably doesn't exist. Um, and Jack was on point. He, I mean, as tired as you must have been, man, you were still there. I was. I was. Uh, yeah, it was co all coffee. Right. I, was, I came home and made a pot of coffee while I took a shit and dumped it in the yeah. cup and ran out the door. It was great. Not the shit. The I want to know, though, Mike, why are you so butthurt about what happened in that show? What ha what happened? Oh, that, no, that, no, that upset no. You so bad. I was a butter. No, I, I was going along with the whole uh, the whole theme of it. What what I thought was amazing was that uh, for such a serious discussion, uh, it, we we really did have equal parts of uh, serious and uh, like his his hysteri hysterical hysterity, yeah, comedy, Hy laughing. Hysteric. We laughed a yes. lot. <laughs> yeah, there was lots of laughing there, Mike. Yeah, we was burned out too. He's all burned out. We're all burned out. out. Yeah, we're, we're done. Maybe give us, give us a show tonight. I was just I know, saying guys. earlier today, I'm tired of talking. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, all I did for, like, the past, like, week and then all weekend is, like, talk. I'm like, I just want to shut up. <laughs> right. So we're going to keep – we're, we're going to try and keep this show, like, right on fucking time. Uh, so, so we did that talk, and Mike, you're right. It was – we're, like, talking about – you know, and uh, emergent properties are these things that blah, 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 blah. Uh, poop joke, poop joke. Oh, Mike, uh, would that be a dick in your mouth or your ass? Or how many dicks in your ass or mouth would that be? Oh, back to. Uh, I don't remember you know, that part. Um, no, 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 no. That, no, that but, was I mean, later. That was like, no, I mean, it would be it would be like that's what we'd start talking about and fucking yeah, horsing yeah. around about. And yeah. then it would be right back to. 
You know, memories are constructed in the brain by you know, well, <laughs> if we want to if we want to recount it before people give give someone you know a little bit of a preview. Let's just talk and recount about Jack's uh, ass raping unicorn that was waiting outside the door. If oh, that's yeah. what we want to give people a taste of what the talk was true, like. True, and it well, and it there's a. It's what's it's called? Who who was it? Was it Russell that had the teapot? Is it Russell's mm -hmm. teapot? Yeah. Yeah. And so if you update that to a unicorn waiting on the other side of the door ready to butt fuck you, I mean, it doesn't really matter what the object is. So why not have an ass raping unicorn? Right. Um, I'll take the teapot. Yeah. That's what I'm just saying. <laughs> teapot. The teapot's so 1930s. Right. Like, you know, like I, I'm updating it with like a furry with a boner. Yeah. So yeah. Well, that, you know what I mean? That's so uh, uh, running man. Point. You know, yeah. The... Yeah. hey, so fuck it. It's no longer Russell's teapot. It's it's oh, my God. I can't believe what this is. It's, it's Jack's it's... anal rape uh, unicorn. <laughs> unicorn. Anal rape unicorn. It's, it's, anal, it's, anal rape unicorn. It's Jack's yes. rapist brony. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, if you want to if you want to humanize it, I kind of think of it as like with my little pony all happy while, it, right. you know, sticks that horn up your ass. Yeah. You know, uh, could be, yeah. Friendship and sodomy. Right, yeah. I think of it like real, real cartoony. Oh wait, wait. I'm sorry, we forgot. Uh, oh, by the way, trigger warning. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't imagine why nobody's in the chat room. Right. <laughs> hashtag. Hashtag trigger warning. Hashtag. All right, anyway. Um, hashtag so that, echo, echo. So that was really good. And then Mike and I, Mike, I, and Laura did a uh, did a panel. Uh, talking about podcasting for an RPG. So if you got, if you're, you want to start an RPG podcast, we recorded that and we had it, it was a panel. Hey, hey, double, double the amount of people showed up than I thought would. Yeah, double two times zero. So, uh, or did no. you think one? You thought one would show up? I thought, I thought we'd get one. Yeah, right. And then we, we got, got one two. for a while, and we got another one. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Now I got to turn it on. Now we right. got to get serious. But but we did we recorded it. we treated it like it was gonna like a podcast so basically we just put the yeah. recorder between us and we talked amongst sure. each other about yeah. it was how discussion. to do it. and I think it went well if you, if yeah. anyone out there wants to learn how to make a uh, a podcast about uh, RPGs and those are not rocket propelled grenades um you know role playing <laughs> games uh, just, just in case there was uh, any you know confusion but yeah definitely check our uh, thing out it'll be going in the feed at some point in the next yeah. month correct. Yes, it'll be in the, the right. this month. When you and Google then, uh, podcasting for RPGs, you can tell because the ones with the turbans on. Right. <laughs> oh, that's geez. the ones you want to avoid. That That's right. not role playing here. Right. That's, 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 that's not us. Right. Right. Yeah. If it starts out with, I'm going to show you how the podcast. Uh, 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 moving, on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. <laughs> Moving but, on. I mean, okay. they're old men with beards, but they're not us. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Different old guys with beards. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, this guy. <laughs> Moving on. Right. You look like you could be on the TSA list, Mike. Oh, Sometimes geez. guys look at you. So uh, what else there? Uh, like Aladdin's dad. Uh, where do we go to eat? <laughs> where do we go to eat? Any good food? <laughs> do we eat any good food? Yeah, we had some hummus. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, we ate at the restaurant that one night, and good God, I thought we were going to have to podcast from that table because yeah. the restaurant was like they had one girl working, and there was a thousand people in there trying to eat the yeah. fifty dollars <laughs> steak sandwiches. But there were uh, they, it was an interesting. But the next night. You see, the fat boy woke up when we talked about the food. The next night, we went to uh, the Shake Shack. And if you are not familiar with Shake Shack, it is like a very hoity-toity um, Five Guys. It's like Five Guys, like if, if like Sex and the City girls wanted to eat there. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's all like, you know, stupid. But best iced coffee ever. Stella got an iced coffee. It comes in a little tiny bottle. It looks like a potion bottle. It was the best iced coffee in the entire universe. It was really delicious. Mm. But uh, at, but I thought the stuff inside the hotel was a little, a little, you know what I mean? Shake yeah. Shack, baby. Shake Shack it was. That was my first trip to the Shake Shack. I, I'll be back. Yeah. I'll be back to the Shake Shack. Me, me, and, the, me and Carrie, what's her name? Carrie. Uh, Underwood. Uh, no, no. Fisher. The, Carrie from the uh, fucking Harry Carrie. Sex in the City. Yeah, how's anyway. it feel? <laughs> what? <laughs> is it peanuts? Uh, so no, that that was the hotel is expensive as shit to eat at. Yeah. Uh, you know, my I got a burger that was like eighteen bucks, and I'm kind of like, yeah. 
it was a good burger. But at least it was, it was a good yeah, burger. It was a good burger. Yeah, it was. It was a good the food was good. The food was nothing yeah. to sneeze at. It was very right. good. No one better um, sneezed on my food. I mean, it took us two and a half hours to get it. But yeah. I mean, once yeah. we did, it was good. Yep. So, Mike, you got the uh, you got the buffet. That didn't look great. Was it good? Was it was it okay? Oh, it was good. Okay. Yep. All right. It was good. A little chicken, a little mac and cheese, a little, uh, All right. All right. a little chopped steak. And yeah. And then we went to Chipotle. Oh, we went to, we went to, Shut up. I'm still talking. We went, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we went to Chipotle the last night, mm-hmm. and this was fucked. Okay, so this was fucked up. So we, a bunch of us decided to go to Chipotle, and it's Scott Pond's idea. So Pondy decides, hey, guys, you want to go to – and, he, you know, he organizes the whole fucking thing. Like, he contacts everybody. He makes arrangements for where, where we're going to meet. We all walk over to Chipotle together. There's, like, I don't know, like 12 of us or some shit, right? Um, ten of us. Ten of us because there's four at each table and then two at another table. And see, the two at the another table were Scott and Tori. And I uh, and and guys, I apologize. I guess Tori and Scott are together. I guess they're. I don't know if they're a couple or just good friends or I don't know. I don't know. But but mm. they seem to hang out a lot together. So I'm. I don't know. But anyway, they were sitting at the table by themselves, and the rest of us were all sitting together eating. And it just wound up that way. Nobody. We weren't fucking shunning him or anything. Remember, I didn't realize I'm fin- I finished eating, and Bruce is like, I'm gonna go over and talk to Scott because he's sitting over there by himself with him and Tori mm-hmm. just sitting. There. I'm like. What the fuck? How does that happen? Right? So then a couple people went over and started talking to him. We just didn't realize. We all sat down and started eating. I don't think anyone realized that it was happening. Um, but uh, anyway, so that was fucked up. I was like, oh, shit. So they went over and talked to him for a little bit. But we had some pretty good discussions. That's where we uh, uh, really started talking to Charlie Brown for the first time since we'd been there. Uh, Mike, you yeah. talked to him more than I did. You said he's a yeah. pretty cool dude? Really neat. Really neat guy. Yeah. Um, uh, I, we just, I mean, we all just had interesting conversation. I, I mean, there was nothing, I mean, you know, overly remarkable other than the fact that, uh, Paul Cooley, uh, quoted him for my definition of the, <laughs> of the, uh, uh, definition of a writer, but don't worry, I'm going to, I'm going to set that straight on the old yeah. FB yeah. hashtag actually, actually, well, actually, <laughs> no. Let me let me Mike explain but, this to you. But no, yeah, and and hopefully, and I'm gonna friend Charlie on. Uh, you know what? If he can do the pull this off for us, then he can have the quote. He he can have credit for uh, the definition. But he uh, he's gonna talk to a friend of a friend who has a dog who uh, goes to the dog park with someone else whose owner uh, works for uh, Twitch, and you know me, maybe we can get on the front page of Twitch for us for a while. So we'll see. You know, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that was that's yeah. pretty cool. So if you ever decide whether you want to go to a con or not, if you're doing anything creative and it's a con that, that kind of uh, uh, does the, or has people there that do that kind of creative stuff, probably a good idea to go and talk to some people because networking is always yeah. awesome. You know, you meet people and they're like, oh, hey, I, I know somebody. I'll, I can't guarantee anything, but I'll say something. Uh, yeah. That would never happen if you didn't, you know, sit down and go to Chipotle with some people and, and hang yeah. out. Yeah. Um, yep. I also did some. I did some gaming panels. Um, I'm not really going to go into those. I don't, I don't think. Go I into, no, to... just a little bit. Go into a little bit. No, sir, right, just right. a little so, bit. So, so the, the topics, was, the, people the on the one. panel with you, things like that. <laughs> oh, I know where you. I'm not. What? Not doing it. No, no, just uh, whatever. I mean, just for people who want to know what what were the topics. All right. So the one was Forgotten Realms of RPGs, and this was uh, RPGs that talking about RPGs that haven't been around. Uh, lately, like they've, they're old RPGs that have kind of fallen out of favor or not out of print or whatever. Um, and there was, uh, I was with there, I was on that one with two ladies, right, Mike? Mm-hmm. There was two ladies in that panel with me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I, I gotta say, the moderator on that panel was, um, she wasn't experienced as a moderator because she didn't have enough okay. content. I mean, she tried. She did have notes. You know, like I get pissed off when moderators don't have notes or don't are not prepared for the for it. Um, she did okay. She could have had a little more, just a little bit more uh, material, but she was all right. It was an okay panel. I don't know. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that's all I got to say about that. That's why I didn't really want to get into it because it was kind of like meh. And then I, just, the other one, just, yeah, just about old 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 games. That's not yeah. nothing special, but that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> An old man talking about old games. That's I, f- I feel this show circling. You know, <laughs> I know. Train. 
Right? We're straight from the bottom of the barrel. Right. And then it was, uh, I forget what the other gaming panel was. Fuck. Um, I was maybe there that was, for that, wasn't I? I don't know. Fuck. Who cares? Anyway. We're getting into, did your room have a lamp in it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right. I got you. Yep, Jack. Jack is right. Fuck it. All right. So we did some stuff. We hang out with some people. We had some good times. I have nothing else to say other than uh, thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us. <laughs> yes, oh, we went you. to Cooley's reading. No, that was good. Yes. Uh, it, if you want to see part of it, go to uh, yep. our Facebook page. Uh, yep. Pete actually did uh, a good bit of um, recording for it, right? I had to pee really bad, so I did a live stream. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> some shit. <Yeah. laughs> so, I have a nice long live stream. It's a few minutes long, you know. If you hear me going ah, in the background, <laughs> no, it, it's it was just it's a reading from his book, Derek. Like that's out. Um, just if you want to get an idea, if you wanted to like uh, uh, listen to his his audio books or whatever, this is a good good place. You just go there and say, "Well, what's this? Paul Cooley has his has his stuff. You can just go check it out." Uh, 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 it's, it's, it's Paul Cooley. Uh, <laughs> what's that? Uh, what's that? Uh, what's up with this book here? Uh, you got a book? <laughs> Sorry, eh? you like books? Norm. Do you? Right. Norm Macdonald impression. Yeah. Sorry. I, I like books. Yeah. 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 This is Paul Cooley. Yeah. All right. So that's it, man. Dude, fuck. That's all I got. You guys got anything else? <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. I mean, I had a great time. Everyone was very nice. I enjoyed Cooley. That was the first time I ever met him. Oh. Um, he was super nice. And that's always refreshing. Yeah. Uh, everybody was cool, except for Mike Cafus. He's a jerk. Yeah. Um, yep. This guy. This guy right here. Else. That's it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Except, uh, well, Pete, you mentioned it before. Like when we were talking about, um, like every time we went to do a talk, whatever, whatever the topic was, whatever was going on, there's always like one person right in the front of the audience. It was like, oh, right. oh, this this isn't gonna go well, is it? Like with the old, the, an old couple, right? And and here we're talking about Gonzo fiction and 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 cussing and all this and that. And and again, our stereotypical. I mean, stereotyping, sorry, our stereotyping um, brains, imprinted brains were like, no, this can't go well, but they loved it, right? And then here we have our discussion about a soul, and uh, there was a, a rather strong, sh strong faithed Jewish gentleman right in the front row. Yeah, but he was asleep for most of it. And right. He did sleep for most of it. Yeah. Uh, however, he snored he, uh, loudly. Yeah, he was snoring. Snoring, yeah. snoring rather loudly. Very snoring loudly. But, you know, even for the times when we when he wasn't, uh, I, you know, we just went on with our stuff and <laughs> maybe he just I really like, wanted to sneak a piece of bacon <laughs> and put it in one hand and a glass of milk in the other and then wake <laughs> him up and then just do it. You know, be like, dude, you are blacking out. You know what just happened? Right. <laughs> because you <laughs> <laughs> because you have no soul, you bastard. Right. right. Yeah. Now he was so, cool. Look, I got to he he hung out. He talked with us. Yeah. He was cool. He he yeah, you know, he was he's cool. like yeah, whatever. You guys you guys said your shit. I yeah. I yeah. I was waiting for I, I for some reason I, when I saw him, he looked like he had an angry look on his face. But I think he was just yeah, fucking yeah. tired, yeah. right? Yeah. Because he was sitting here like this. Must been. Right. But I think it was it was more like he's sitting here like this because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to fall out of the chair as he sleeps. Um, yeah. So I thought he was going to come up and like start like, yeah. you know, giving a shit at the end of the show. I thought it was going to be a battle. I thought he was going to have a lot to say. I thought yeah. he was there to antagonize us. I, I really thought did. so too. Yep. But he was really cool. Nice was, he was cool. Really yeah. Cool. But uh, as as uh, Jack had pointed out, uh, Jello Biafra said, "God is dead and you're alive." So right there. Oh, there was there was one other panel comment I'll make. And I'll, I'll keep this really quick. But remember, we were talking about the, the there's the panel. I remember what it was. It was the panels on that was the differences between um, the setting in a novel versus a role playing game. Like yes. what differences are there? Yep. And we had that one person in the front row who I start talking and he goes like this. His Rain hand Man goes up. Rain Man yeah. goes up. Right. Yep. And yep. Yep. he started. Uh, he's he the boy. I'm not trying to pick on him. I'm really not. We're calling him Rayman. We probably should. We shouldn't. We shouldn't pick on him. The, the boy obviously has some kind of. He's on the spectrum somewhere. It, uh, okay, fine. Wait, so what? I mean, it it it, it didn't derail the entire uh, in the entire uh, panel. And I think no. part of that had to do with the uh, moderator who who yeah. handled it. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I was nice to him. You know, I I he he started going on and on, right? Like 
like people we know yeah. who just talk and talk and talk. No, anyway, so he started going on and on, uh, and and I think I handled it okay with him. I I didn't you know, I didn't want to give him. Is that too the much. guy that you punched in the throat and then you stuffed his face in the macaroni and cheese? Is that that guy? Yeah. Uh, well, it got him to shut up though. So right, it did yeah. did get him to shut up. Right. <laughs> Took him to Chipotle and anyway, no, I was it it was okay, but it was. Yeah, you run into this kind of people. Uh, you do a panel, and you never, you never know what you're going to get. And as the moderator, you know it's your job to control. Like if something goes south with the fucking audience, you know you gotta, you gotta handle it. That's that's part of your job as a, as a moderator. So that was uh, that was a challenge, but I think we pulled it off. But anyway, all right. Now I really do have. That's it. I only thought of that because Mike brought it up. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So let's wrap this motherfucker up. One last show for this half of the season. We are off for the next month. However, Ooh. however, Steve Wallet videotaped, videotaped. You like that? Steve yeah, Wallet, he, re- he video recorded. I, what do you call it nowadays? It's, cam- it's called a camcorder. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's not. What do, you, what do you call it when they video? So this video, he videoed it. Eight exactly. millimeter, super eight. Yes. Right, whatever. Anyway, so he he captured the video uh, moving of the pictures. First, they call it moving the f- pictures, Pete. Okay, got it. Of the first night, uh, and he's gonna send me those files. So that video will go up into the feed. Um, I've been holding on to uh, James Desbra's uh, interview that we did with him because that was sort of like an extra. That's gonna be next week, and then the Balticon video from the first night will be the week after that. And then you guys are going to have two weeks with no video. However, however, <laughs> we have plenty of audio and the podcast and our SoundCloud will have something new every week until we come back. So uh, so if you are that one guy who only watches the video and plus my mom, who I already told you that I will show you, mom, how to go to the podcasting stuff and shave your but, back. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Come on now. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so uh yeah, uh, what do you, would you say the best place for them for people who aren't uh just getting their podcasts on their phone would just be go to SoundCloud, correct? Yeah. Look yeah. us up um, look up the Mythwits on SoundCloud. They will be posted by yeah. that Monday yeah. sometime yeah. on Monday. Yeah. Yes. I, I try right. and do it Sunday night. So they okay. have it Monday morning. Oh, there you go. Yes. Because so, I'm I'm dying to rehear these things. I I want to listen to them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I will be breaking them up as I usually do. So it'll be the show, the main part of the show, and then the Jeez. game will be the game yeah. will be Friday. So it'll God, be a good luck breaking thing. that crap up. Because yeah, I know. Well, we had no day. we had no uh, segue points. No, I don't think. No, no. Well, one and, time I think I tried to make a segue point. Brevity, brevity, brevity. 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 Um, <clears throat> yeah. So when we come back, we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna try some new stuff. I think. Uh, I would really like to, Mike. I'd really like to get the game show shit really tight Mike. with you. I'm gonna um, tighten her up, boss. Right. Right. <laughs> um, so that we won't be doing a game on our regular show anymore. It'll be these will be videos we just drop into YouTube. We're gonna record them at a different time. Uh, you know. We talked about if we do a Patreon, maybe that's one of the things that a Patreon, one of the big benefits uh, a Patreon gets is they get to watch the game live, and only they that, will get to watch it live. Wow, and that would be good because they they would be able to see, basically, when I, show, I would right? set a recording time, <laughs> and it would be like, you know, hey, this is when we're recording, and uh, you know, tune in between this time and this time, and they would see uh, all, you know, warts and all of whatever's going to yeah. be recorded from the pre and the post show and all that, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, the inner workings. Yes. Oh, it's the, a mess. The Frank and Stella. Yes. The, the, what is that? How the how the soup? How the cheese? How the dog food? What what the hell is it? How what's made? How the see how the, how the dog soup, food? Is I think made. it's how the soup is how made, the, right? How the soup is made? Uh, I, don't I don't know. Who knows? But people at the All live show hair. got. I mean, you got to come yeah. out and see us live because that's funny. Because you know everybody's like fucking giving Mike and I shit because we're fighting with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, I don't understand. But. I don't understand. They that's just who we are. Yeah. Right? I wouldn't say that we fought I mean, seriously, I don't think that we got into one superheated like I regret that happening. Because we have had those. Yeah, we have yeah. had yeah. when it was like, fuck, dude, I'm sorry. That that was not that was unnecessary. Yeah, we, that was uncool. I'm sorry, buddy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
there was there, there was that. no apologetics involved uh, yeah. uh, to this week. You know this this weekend, I think. So uh, that's good. Well, good. Yeah. You guys will have a lot to talk about with your marriage counselor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. It's like it's funny because people are like, "God, you guys are fighting." And we're like, "Fighting." What? Who's fighting? fighting. What? Yeah, I haven't seen fighting yet. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. This, this is, is foreplay. What are you right? talking about? <laughs> we just, this is a, Mike's just turning me on right now, right? right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fuck this. Let's go. Come on. Uh, yeah. here, here, we, here we go. Here we go. No, final Ooh. thoughts. Final thoughts. Oh, final Lord thoughts. Wait a minute. All right. Jesus. No, Terry Shivo, pull the cord. Stop. <laughs> what, what fun? Gonna die. <laughs> hey, we're thought. starting the show. Hey, what final thoughts, man? Come on, killing me. All right, you want me to go? I'll go first with final thoughts. Maybe that'll inspire the rest quick, of you chuckheads. Quick, quick final thoughts. Brevity, Mike. Brevity. All right. Four score and uh, oh, couple, stop. Come on. couple days ago, <laughs> our Mythwits set forth. Uh, I had lower expectations. I had completely low expectations for what was going to happen this weekend. I thought two, three, four people might show up at our stuff and, um, you know, I knew that we would have fun. I just honestly didn't. I had no idea that there would be as many people as there would be there. And yeah. I'm talking there were between t no less than 20 people, 15, 20 people uh, to I think at one point we had in, in one of our um, shows, we had about 30 people. And um, it was just to me, it was all inspiring. It rejuvenated me um, and kind of got me addicted to that thing where you know when when you say something or you know we we all interact and people laugh even if i'm the you know the ass end of the joke but i wasn't always that way and uh you know uh, everyone laughed i would say something and and people laughed and that's addicting i got i gotta tell you that is completely addicting and to me that just gave me more drive and more um you know more energy to keep doing what we do and for that i just i was uh i would say that i was thankful yeah so they got to watch that and the, and the woman who came up at the woman that came up to me and said are you a voice actor and i'm like me who are you talking to yeah, yeah i know right i think but, uh, i think uh, all white people look the same to her hey yeah, hey easy, hey, easy. <laughs> hey. I'm just, it's true we, they, i mean come on how many chubby beards were on that panel oh my god she, I yeah think, oh. i think she confused Seriously. you with somebody she could have really easily Anyway, yeah. Jack. She had really thick glasses on, too, so I Jack. think she couldn't see so well. I think she was I, I, just following the sound of somebody's voice. Somebody Jack, must have walked behind you, she, and she, she thought it was you. She liked our show, Jack. She might be a fan. She might be yeah. watching no, this. I'm glad she liked it. I just wanted to know. I just, I'm just i just trying to deflate Mike's bubble. Okay. Oh, I see. Make, all right. This, I see. Right. I got what you're doing. Right. This, yeah. is, this is not about her at all, right? This it's is not, not, no, it's not about her at all. I think she confused Mike with somebody else. Right. Uh, Somebody talented. Right. 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 Yeah. right. That's what right. happened. Right. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this sir. Is the whole weekend. Any chance you could recover this and, and tell everyone what maybe you learned or final recover thoughts? from what? You're right. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's trying to dupe you into last thoughts. <clears throat> All right. Look. Last thoughts. It was a great time. Fucking Balticon got this shit together. Can't wait for next year. Thanks, everybody. And Cooley, the fucking man. He hung out with us yeah. all weekend, did a lot of shit with us. It was a good time. Good time. And that's it. I'm fucking, Mike, anything else you want to do before you interrupt my shot? No, don't even show? give him the opportunity. No, because he will. He'll just do it. Uh, I'd like <laughs> to say that uh, there were much less <laughs> birds than I thought. That, uh, I wanted more birds. I left there. There was no bird shit on me whatsoever. I was very disappointed. I had to find a pigeon in the street and have him shit on me. It was very inconvenient. Oh, God. <laughs> With that, <laughs> you no wait, oh my wait, God. wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> you just enjoyed another 
fucking shit show of the Mythwits. <laughs> All right, catch us live on Twitch Mondays at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Jump in the chat room. Answer guest questions. If you miss a live show, you can always catch the anchor episodes on YouTube for slash Mythwits. Find us at Mythwits.com, Facebook, Twitter, and SoundCloud as a Mythwits. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. Please give us a bunch of stars and a review on iTunes. Um, just, uh, yeah. Mythwits is part of the TSR Podcast Network. If you like us, you're bound to like other great shows there as well. Check out TSRPN.com. Uh, Mythwits is a Creative Commons product. Make sure to check out Swing187.com for more cool stuff and join our mailing list. Thanks, everybody, for listening. We'll see your asses in a month. Tell your friends to tune in. Tell them to come back. Send us some emails. I don't know. Whatever. Until yeah, next week. Stuff. Yeah, do stuff. Jump around. Coins. Coins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Mike. No, but seriously, though, you know, Pete, he has a point. There was not enough bird shit in that cod, so I'm just saying. <laughs>